Leonard's coming off two very, very good games, 23 and 32 respectively. Rose and King are very tough for Michigan in the backcourt. Perhaps the key matchup, though, is in the middle where Cole Lander has to battle Jawan Howard. And we will return for the start of this afternoon's game between the Gophers and Wolverines after these messages. Along with Greg Kelser and our Raycom crew on hand for this matchup between Michigan and Minnesota. The Fab Five as freshmen. And now they're the super softs as you take a look at them. And take a look at what they've done in terms of their improvement over last year for the most part. Weber, his stats have been up. Jackson Howard King rose down a little bit in terms of uh, scoring, but he's got some powerful people he's dishing the ball to. Well, the thing is, these guys, they understand each other much, much better. And the thing that really, really impresses me about them is they're all so very unselfish. Now the season series uh, between these two teams, Michigan leads it, and uh, they've won 23 of the last 24 here at Chrysler Arena. You have to go all the way back to the 60s for the last time Minnesota won a game here at Chrysler Arena. But for the most part, he'd like to keep it just like it is right now, under control, using the shot clock, which is at 12. Jackson triggers it loose. Fouled by Carter. Jackson. Ray Jackson has come off some injury problems. Uh, sprained ankle earlier this month. He had an injured left shoulder in December uh, in the trip to um, Hawaii against North Carolina, but has played through those injuries and makes good on the first uh, foul shot of the ball game. And a lot of people, Greg, feel that even despite the injuries, he's probably the most improved overall in, to in terms of total game of the Fab Five as they turn into their sophomore seasons. Well, you know, the thing I've noticed is that each player on the, uh, on the basket, the closer he gets, well, the more unstoppable he becomes. Colander with the wheeling hook shot, and Jackson grabs the board. Opening two minutes of play in this first half. Weber again in close. Michigan with the early lead. One thing Glenn Haskins said is that Minnesota, we've got to keep Michigan in front of us, not let them get behind us for the easy layups and the spectacular dunks. Minnesota has to shoot better than they have thus far as well. King on a nifty drive. Well, it's like he never left, right? Oh, you get that feeling the minute you step back on the campus of your alma mater. Look at the field goals right there. Both teams struggling. Two of six, Michigan. Two of eight, Minnesota. Minnesota now in a zone defense. You'll see Clem Haskins change it up back and forth. Zone to man to man. Jackson misses with almost tipped in by one of the Gophers, and Jawan Howard does put it in for Michigan. One thing he's the zone buster, or in that particular case, just a shooter who comes into the game whenever the team needs uh, some strength from the perimeter. He only shoots the basketball. That's what he comes in for. So Minnesota, Michigan, that is, will have to always know where, uh, where Wolf is on the floor. Score that field goal for Jimmy King. Goaltending. Almost impossible to win there. They are 60 and 16 over the past four seasons at home. 13 and 1 this season. The only loss to these Michigan Wolverines. Absolutely. That place is a snake pit for opponents. And what a great place to watch a basketball game. Jalen Rose. His first from the field. He has two points. Michigan back on top by one. Four seconds on that clock. Howard, interior, Dean Weber with authority. I think he's taking over. I think it's becoming Chris Weber's game. 6.35 to go first half. I think he did the best job of adjusting his attitude and still finding a way to make a positive contribution to this team. But Sean Leonard missed on the drive. Here's King behind the back to Howard. No, but a foul. Oh, a little razzle-dazzle there. Cancer or AIDS or any other number of demons that afflict the youngsters. He does a great job with the kid. But Sean Leonard had the ball stripped away. How about that? Michigan got back so well that time. Howard finishes it off. First of all, guarded by four people. Here's the steal off the pressure by King. The tip won't go for Palenka. Weber, yes, and a foul. Nate Tubbs, the guilty party on the foul. And is able to get an offensive rebound without fouling. Dana Jackson trying to beat Colander. Another Minnesota turnover. Weber runs the break to King. King 
probably the best athlete on this team, especially in terms of running the transition game. And Weber, so very, un so very... Uh, Deshaun with five. But Michigan, right back in your face. You don't have time to celebrate some success. If you're going against these guys, you got to get back. You score your basket, you better run back quickly. Wide open, Rose for three. Weber trying to bang away at it. There's Riley. We mentioned offensive rebounding would be very important. Michigan doing the job down the stretch here in the first half, attacking the board. The drive. And as we said, Leonard, he is so very important to whatever happens positive for Minnesota. Just his seventh point in, point in this game. He's going to have to have a big second half, of which he's capable. Minnesota guards combined for 38 points the other night against Wisconsin. Weber for three. Leonard going to work. He has... The two field goals for Minnesota here, the outset of the second half, nine points in the game. Good defense that time, but no block out and another offensive rebound for Weber, and he puts it back in. Weber with 14 points, and Michigan maintains the 17-point advantage. Has to have good defensive concentration, but the most important thing with them is to get the offensive rebound. Michigan has 13 offensive rebounds now in this game. Greg, you brought up a good point. Rose firing away from three-point range. Second three-pointer of the half for Michigan out on the floor. Capitalized in that aspect as well. Interior feed to Juwan Howard. Tough shot. You just got to battle for the low position because Howard is a guy, when he catches, right up in Leonard's face, and Leonard is 40 feet from the basket. Of course, for Sean Leonard and Jalen Rose, Southwestern High School under... Perry Watson in Detroit won two state titles. King on the drive. Another offensive rebound for the Wolverines. Count it. Weber. Count it. Tell you what, I think at this point, Leonard's just going to have to take over this game. He is going to have to, to look for his own offense and then hope that they can come back down with a, a defensive effort because that's the only way they're going to get back in this game. They've got to be able to stop Michigan a few times. Jimmy King answers with a tray. They've got Grimm deep. David Grimm picked up quickly by Weber, blocked by Jackson. Going to belong to Minnesota. By the way, both teams went into that championship game undefeated. Weber's team won. Leonard off the mark this time. Jimmy King. <laughs> Weber double teamed. Nonetheless, manufactures two more points. He has 18. Boy, he makes it look so easy. But when he gets the basketball inside... Minnesota trying to step up a half-court defense. Man-to-man -man now. Palenka pops around the screen by Riley. Boy, they got a lot of weapons. Palenka for three, has seven in the game. Allows them to get out and play the tough brand of defense. Full court for 40 minutes. Ariel, it's very difficult. Ariel McDonald, three-point field goal. Michigan struggling a bit here. They clear it to Weber, and this is elementary. How you like that? Carter, a brick off the glass. Here comes Weber. Bosco bobbled. Riley, the tip, no. Offensive basket interference. It was four points. You knew that Michigan was going to come out of it sooner or later. Ariel McDonald off the mark from behind, from uh, behind the three-point line. Here's a steal by McDonald. Michigan leads the Big Ten in steals. Oh, and Dana Jackson missed the jam. Tally to Riley to Howard. Yeah, he won't miss his. I tell you again, they just keep coming at you. How quickly it can turn. Now that was a two-point jam. Well, you can see Jackson's been paying attention. That looked almost like a Chris <laughs> Weber move. Bosco. For three. Well, as we said, which do you want? Do you want to go out on Bosco? Or do you want to let Howard have the inside position? That time they doubled Howard without the basketball. So Bosco more than willingly took the shot. And on the offensive glass, Minnesota did not have an answer today. It was 24 to 20 with four and a half minutes to go in the first half. Michigan went out a 12-2 run to end the half, and it's been all Michigan ever since. Rose on the miss. Riley with authority on the jam. He has six. Well, that's one reason why 
Minnesota is suffering today, and of course the other. Absolutely, so to say that they need to play 500 basketball, easy said. Jimmy King finishes the break, he has 11. Coming up on the final minute of play in the ball game. Minnesota trailing by 12. They're gonna have to look for the three. With John Leonard again. This time the rebound to Weber. And now Michigan on the break. Jimmy King foul and will it count? Apparently they're gonna call it out on the floor. No continuation, obviously. I'm surprised. I am too. Yeah, when the whistle blew, King was in the air. 